Ah, uh, whatever. Just bob the shit out of this place, dude. Yeah, now we're talking. Now go fuck up that Zen. No, 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 no. You just let... You fight the Zen right on your left. You throw a bob. What are you, a fucking goldfish? Like, you just fought him two seconds ago. Like, he was right there, dude. And then you're like, I'm going to go out and pretend he doesn't exist. You know, I tried to do this with my bills, and it does not work either. But uh, let's see how you do trying to forget that Zen is your Charter Spectrum bill. Okay. Okay. We're looking at the YouTubes. Uh, this is from Zex. Hello, Zex. Lama, can you help me get out the bronze? You damn straight I can. I have no idea what I could have done to change the odds in this match. I'm at 1375. Arrest me. Spit on me. Just please be getting out the bronze. I played Pharaoh with no value. McCree and pretty much just charged their supports ult. You a funny guy. You're about to explode, man. I love your content. Zex, I'm all over this. You... You seem to be a juicy one. <laughs> Ready for the llama. Three. And we're on board with Onza. The Bronze Echo McCree. Sometimes a Farah. Arikari, you're boosted. You're behind your shield. This is good. This choke is always a little difficult. Let's see what happens. We're doing shield break versus shield break. You use your flight. A uh, little bit of a misuse there, but okay. You're peeking, you're peeking, you're flying up and over. You did not take your mercy with you. Uh, maybe not the communication. All right, now wait for your cooldown so you still have your escape up. Okay, now you have that burn, 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 beam, 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 beam. Okay, 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 listen. Your beam does 400% damage. Okay, let's just back it up a bit and uh, see where you missed the insta-kill. Okay, so you come down here and you smartly wait for some cooldowns, I think. So you can get your escape. And now that person, look at, oh my God, you could have walked in with beam and just lit them up. So a bit of a mistake there, but let's keep going. Oh, wow, nice shot. Wow, nice headshots, dude. All right, get off the bridge, back out. You've got Discord orb. Oh, you're not very good at flying. Uh, right now you're tech and uh, maybe it's your nerves, but um, your mechanics are not great for the flying. So far, you're, you're kind of all over the place here. There you go. Okay, now back out. Or at least get angles. Yes, okay. Uh, hopefully you wait for your cooldowns before you engage here. Okay, you got them all back. Yes, that Zen is so juicy. Yes, he's dead. Now, now beam him. There you go. But, like, what the fuck, man? Like, uh, it seems like you hit that flight button when you, after you do something because you're so afraid. Don't do that. Hit your flight button when there's a problem. But there was no problem. You were whooping that thing's ass. He didn't even touch you. And then you like flew away and then and then let him get in a better position and then they fucked you up. Alright, so Echo, you are waiting for your team, it looks like, or you're typing something derogatory in chat like, ha ha, Anna, stop being a hairy alpaca. Yeah, affirmative. Anna, you paca. Alright, your ash is an idiot, but it's bronze. What can you do? Uh, oh, oh, you're an idiot. What can you do? Don't do that, man. Like when his shield breaks. Hey, I like this angle though. When his shield breaks, don't die, just walk in front. Uh, no, I don't love it, but you forced the beat for some reason, so whatever. Alright, no, 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 no. You don't win that fight, right? You should just, uh, you can win it if you dive on him easily. But don't take it 1v1 on the low ground at level height, because he will fuck you up. Oh, uh, no, 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 go a little further around and fuck him up, dude. Do you, like, like Echo is made for like these, these like big dirty flanks because she can get in and out pretty easy. Like this, this is great. Uh, I, I think you did that to save your life, which is fine because this, this really is the win push I think for these, uh, for for your team. That's too bad that we're not capitalizing. It seems. Yeah, yeah, push him into your team. Okay. Oh, uh, get the boop. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Okay. Sticky bomb and walk away from that guy. All right, let's see. You're gonna dive in on the healer, I hope. Get the Zenyatta. Not the Lucio. Yeah, dude, this is it. This is it. Beam, 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 beam. Oh, yeah, you forced the trance now. And now you find some cover and get the hell out of here. Good. They're gonna hunt you because they know how low you are. Yeah, he's behind you, hunting you. Get ready to beam. Beam, 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 he's dead. Beam, he's dead, beam, he's dead. Yes, all right, good. Also decent, uh, you have nothing for him, so you do what you can. Uh, that, that looks pretty good, though. You, you swap to the beam. 
Uh, what could you have done to get out of bronze? Okay, uh, I'm trying to keep this singular question in my mind. Right now your positioning's not great, and your ability usage is a little random. Once you see someone half health, you beam the shit out of them. Almost, no matter what, it's very, it's very much the most appealing thing in the game, is someone half health with, uh, echo and a beam. Oh, here we go! Okay, okay! What? Why did you flashbang that Zen and kill him? You have to roll into him like an asshole to do that? Dude, you just had to like walk out and flashbang him. You didn't have to do some sort of fucking barrel roll into him. Jesus, there you go. There you go, yeah, yeah, just stay up here, just stay up here. You, you can flashbang anybody who comes into the door. I like that you stayed up there, Golden Gun. What are you looking for over there? Is there somebody? Oh, I bet you're typing things like, Hey, alpacas! You're lucky I'm awesome. All right, what are you doing now? I hate this, I hate this, I hate it. Oh, I like this, I like this. You're doing good. Ah, oh, look at you waiting for the payload. Right now, I'm gonna tell you this is not bronze play. You're playing like gold. Like, I don't see anything bronzy about your play. Maybe, maybe your cooldown usage was a little bronzy, but at least silvery. Let's see, that was nice. Why aren't you putting, hold on, hold on. Uh, in the lower ranks, sometimes this is a problem. It's called APM, actions per minute. Uh, some people uh, don't know how to turn off. Some people have a hard time turning it on. So uh, what McCree did, and I guess I will show a little replay here in the editing, but he walked up and he just walked by a shield. He just walked by it. He said, whatever. Like, dude, just throw a right click into it. That's like six bullets. You help shatter it and you still get to move on with your day without even a second thought, right? So make sure you're doing that. Shields, uh, shield break from a Kree when you're in this range is really great. Like, uh, throw some right clicks into it. Roll, throw some more right clicks into it. Now their barrier is almost down. Oh my god, it's glorious. Okay, let's get back on the team. Where is he? Orza. Onza, sorry. Alright, Onza. We're going up on the McCree flank, which I literally hate. You have the loudest, the dumbest shoes in the game, but here you go. Away from your team. And on the hunt, apparently, for a Zenyatta that you just missed. He's above you. I saw him. Well, I guess I have the hindsight of... Dude, don't engage now, though. Everybody's dead. Do you hear the Zenyatta? Crouch. Shh, shh, shh. He hears you. Yeah, he's coming up with some right clicks. Oh, wow. Okay. You kind of missed the flashbang, but... Do you hear them coming? Because uh, you just dropped right between... Yeah, dude, th this is why you don't go on epic flanks. Because then you're stuck there. Like, you have no way out. You're you're a fucking McCree with uh, dumb shoes. All right, flat. There you go. Okay, good. That was the calmest flashbang I think I've seen you throw. What? No, 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 no. You can still shoot. Your mercy was up. Where are you go? Dude, do not go on this flank. God, dude. Oh, it's the battle of the dipshits up here. Fuck, like, why are you going on this fucking f Oh, I know why, because you think Epic behind the team High Noons is the play. It's not. It, it's not. It's literally probably keeping you here. I want you to rewind this and watch how many times you've died so far working your way up to your magnificent 6k. It's fuck. it's so dumb. Alright, but let's see. I like your mechanic- Like, your mechanical skill on McCree is much better than your- Echo, at least you're flying Echo. Cool, yes, you're peeking. Oh, very nice. Cool, you're peeking, very nice. You got a shield in your face, you move over to your shield. Don't go in that choke. Don't trust your Reinhardt to hold a shield in that door. That was real nice. That's gonna fucking hurt, dude. That's a little weird, right? You just hit the holy shit button because there's three seconds left. I disagree with that play. If you're not going to get value from it, why do it? Don't hunt him down. Don't do it. Oh, you're going to... Oh my god, this team is like... Deaf. Are you playing Sister Mary's school? What is it? Sis Sister Mary Kate School of the Blind? Are you playing... Dude, he's be I hear people charging and shit. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is glorious. This is very much bronzy shit happening, but... Uh, you're not exactly helping or hurting. I mean, you're probably the best player on your team. I don't know. Like, you've done okay. Just that flank was really dumb and probably cost your team a bit. I didn't really watch a lot of them because guess what? Even on the McCree, you are with your team less than you were with the Echo. 
Like, that's not how you play the McCree, dude. Oh, now we're on the ash hole. Let's see what you do. So, I wonder what problem you've been trying to solve, though. So, you were on the Echo and not being countered. Then you swapped to the McCree, where you weren't countered except by another flanking McCree. <laughs> uh, and now you're on the ash because of why. Like, I don't... You're just swapping. Like, maybe you're better on each hero, and you're like, oh, I'll do Echo unless it's hard. I guess I'll do McCree. Oh, fine, I'll do my Ash. My Ash is the best. Um, right now, you're in a really dumb fucking position. Here, dude. Uh, do you really want to get out of bronze so much so that you went on the internet and to the forums and then you asked a puppet to help you with the game? Do you want to get better? Then clearly that's a yes, right? Okay. Then this is what you do on the ash hole. Go look up a video. I'll try to link it. This is more work for the llama. But look up the video where it's dynamite starting spots, okay? I did this on ash because I love being an ash hole. You don't need to be where you are. You stand on this. You look up at one of these clouds, I forget where it is, and you put your little ash thing, and you throw your dynamite with exactly some seconds left, and guess where it lands? Right behind them as they walk out, and it blows them all up on the stairs. So, you take five fucking minutes to learn that, and then every single time you play Eichenwald, you get to have 20% ultimate before everyone else. Pretty big advantage, right? Yeah, dude, get crafty. This... Way less than crafty. Let's see if you die doing it. I see lots of people get away with it. I still think it is very dumb. Let's see. Where are you? Onza. You are what? F8? F. You are F7, Onza. Remember that, Dalama. Here we go. All right. Onza. You stand right in front of them gloriously, throw the dynamite, and walk away. Will it still hit people? Of course it will, because it's whatever rank is not this. Uh. <laughs> Oh, that's very fucking sad. <laughs> it's a Lucio. How did the Lucio die to it? He can literally heal himself. <laughs> All right, you have a tracer. You're working on it. You're fine. But I don't really consider this to be like your gig, man. Like, just go back with your team and shoot at her when necessary. But don't leave the point. You can shoot from left to right. I don't understand your distance management with this hero. Wow, you went back to the joke just to eat a fire strike. What it? Why would you walk so close to the shield, dude? Natural cover, you're like low health. I think a lot of people trust their shields a little much. I don't trust anybody. I always keep natural cover near me. If they have a shield in front of me, oh, all the better. But I don't actually trust them. You're insane, especially in bronze, to be trusting your tanks, to shield. Oh, I like those shots, though. You know you can get the dynamite right in that choke and fuck them all up, right? That's not what I meant. Your dynamite's one of your best things in your kit. Don't willy-nilly it into any cotton hole that looks soft and warm. <laughs> yeah, I know what I mean, fella. <laughs> On the alpaca time. Oh, Scooby Snack, come mess you up, dude. Why would you walk in front of the bear? The guy has a flashbang. Do you have no will to live? You got to look at the different, uh, the, the different one-on-ones you're taking with your DPS and know if you can win them or not. Oh, son of a bitch, he came in like uh, like downtown Joe here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you're gonna wanna, yeah, dynamite that, very nice. Yeah, like, you just kept peeling a bad way, but they were coming no matter what with like 15,000 ultimates, so that was gonna be rough. Uh, you're fine, I don't know, you could have played that better, whatever. Yeah, 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 find some high ground, asshole. That's your job, and look on the team, what can they get you with? Oh, diva. End of list. Get on the high ground. Get on the high ground. Do you know you want to use your coach gun? You know you... Oh, come on, Onza. Use your coach gun. Use your coach gun. Get away from this swinging, Reinhardt. No, not laterally, vertically. Ah, uh, whatever. Just bob the shit out of this place, dude. Yeah, now we're talking. Now go fuck up that Zen. No, 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 no. You just let... You fight the Zen right on your left. You throw a bob. What are you, a fucking goldfish? Like, you just fought him two seconds ago. Like, he was right there, dude. And then you're like, I'm going to go out and pretend he doesn't exist. You know, I tried to do this with my bills, and it does not work either. But uh, let's see how you do trying to forget that Zen is your charter spectrum bill. Okay, here we go. You run out, you are fighting with him, and I'm like, oh, he'll take on the Zen. No, he'll just forget about it and take a Zen. To hey, oh, look, did you see he put all his balls right in your mouth, Onza? 
He teabagged you. Yeah, I fucking saw it, dude. <laughs> you should have taken high ground. Look at this guy. Five stars not taking high ground. Come on, Anza. All right, what I want you to learn out of this is... Um, all right. First post-it note. Do more free-for-all. Know my matchups. Uh, let's put it this way. Know my matchups. So... Uh, before you go take a 1v1, know if it's a good matchup for you. And to know it's a good matchup, you have to know what the hero is, and then you have to know preferred distances. So like a McCree, is a good matchup really close to McCree? Or is it far away from McCree? It's far away, right? Yeah, so that's a good matchup. You, McCree, McCree's a little out of range, you're within range, I mean, that's perfect, right? A Zenyatta, same thing, right? Maybe you can dive the Zenyatta, but that's not what you want. So uh, I want you to uh, learn your 1v1s. Now that's going to take a lot of free-for-all, but you said you wanted to climb and you want that to bronze. So you got the free-for-all until you know every single hero you're going to come up against a lot. You know, like how do I deal with a Genji on my McCree? How do I deal with a Genji on my Ash? Oh, the Genji's a real problem. What I learned was my fair is the best or, or, or whatever. But, but you'll do so much free-for-all that you will know what you need to do to take out their counter. Uh, number two, your other post-it note, uh, since we're doing this, is uh, take high ground whenever possible. Not on McCree, asshole. I don't want you making four-mile flanks to find high ground so you can 6k people in the back. Ah, third post-it note, stop going for hero plays. Deckhead. All right, here we go. Uh, okay. Uh, we've got a problem. You are now, of course, not on high ground where you could be completely safe. Instead, you are eating spam for no reason. You know who eats spam? I grew up poor as fuck at a llama. Not, not in the Peruvian Alps where the alive crash happened. Don't ask me about the plane crash. It's too weird. Too soon. But, you know, I grew up poor as fuck and we ate spam all the time. It is not delicious. It is disgusting. Do not eat that shit. It is like a salt lick. All right. Ugh. Yeah, you know what? You're using natural cover okay, but I don't like the position of your natural cover, although it is much better than usual bronze positioning. I'm not gonna lie, you don't belong in bronze. I've seen bronze. I've reviewed enough of it. Like, you are at... It's not bronze that you're doing. But even as not bronze, sir, and we'll probably stop it right here, to be honest. Uh, it looks like... Uh, yeah, listen, we're gonna stop it right here. I don't need to see more. Um, what you have to understand about bronze... Uh, God, about any elo, actually, okay? Once you uh, hit your mechanicals and then your game sense combined, that equals the SR you're in. So your mechanicals might be amazing. That means your game sense is bad. Someone like me, I know my game sense is probably pretty good. I got a good llama brain on my shoulders. But uh, have you ever seen someone play uh, a fucking game with split hooves? Yeah, my mechanicals aren't there, dude. But my game sense gets me to where I need to be. MVP Llama League, three years running, bitches. But listen to me. You're not going to win 80%. You're not Craggy or Defran or who is that asshole that went undefeated on Reaper from bronze to GM. Like, what a dickhead. Undefeated. Never lost a match to GM. <laughs> I love it. So, dude, even though you're going to play your ass off and hopefully you get a little bit of learnings from this better high ground, your mechanicals are above your station. So it's clearly game sense and this weird arbitrary swapping. Uh, so you're going to use these post-it notes and try to get one of them down a week. Just per week. This stuff is slow going, okay? Uh, and, and just realize that if you win 55% of your matches, you're doing great, dude. Like, like there's honestly, people say a third, a third, a third. I would honestly say 40% of matches, you're going to fucking lose no matter who you are. It's just, you're going to lose. 40%, you're going to win no matter how much dumb shit you do and no matter how many times you swap the Widow even though you can't do it. And then 20% is going to come down to shit like this. Like, like, did you take high ground? Did you win that 1v1 with Zen? Uh, you got to be able to have a little more carry potential and you do that by making decent plays off their mistakes. And you weren't. You were staying low ground and getting your butt kicked by melee heroes. Dude, if a melee hero is hitting you and you have a rifle, can we just put two and two together that... Maybe you're in the wrong spot. Like, it's not rocket science, guys. Okay, listen, I want to see you in a month, but I want to see these improvements. Use your post-it notes, actually improve and put them on your monitor one a week, and then in four weeks you resubmit and show me that you are no longer a dickhead. <laughs> I love you. I'm kidding. I love you. I just like calling people funny names. Okay, don't be an alpaca. Llama out.
So that's it. I am doing 90 videos in 90 days. Think about supporting your favorite livestock by sharing this video on your social medias. Consider subscribing and liking this video. And are you interested in submitting your gameplay or have a video you feel the llama must see? There are a number of ways to get the llama's attention. One, you can make a post over at my favorite learning community, r slash Overwatch University. Put something about the llama in the title and I will review your trash can gameplay. Two, you can put it in a comment below on this video. Remember to tell me your current SR, your story, your hero, and your replay code. And lastly, for all of you boomers, I also have the email. You can email me at angrylamareviews at gmail.com. Thank you for watching the video and for supporting the channel. Lama out.